Hi, hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. The game in this video is from the 2021 Hive Online World Championship Qualifying Tournament held at Board Game Arena. This is the second round. I'm playing my friend John Sandal, who plays under the name Apollo Q. Just as an interesting side note, John is one of the few people I've actually met and played with in person. Prior to the pandemic of 2020, he held a Hive Live event in Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, where Joe Schultz and I both attended. We got to meet each other in person and play together. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that at some point in the future as well. John and I both lost our first round game, so this game is critical for both of us. So let's see how it turned out. Ladybugs come out first. I play my queen. And John chooses a Z queen formation. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to call it a Z queen formation. For explanation of why ladybugs are important as a leadoff bug and the differentiation between choosing queen formations, please see my previous video regarding game one of this tournament. There'll be a link down below and at the end of the video. I bring in an ant. John follows with a mosquito and I attack with my ant. This is very unlike me. I'm not very aggressive. So let's see how this turns out as I get out of my comfort zone. Another black ant comes in, and using my ant as an anchor, I bring in the mosquito. I expect that the mosquito is going to get pinned, but wherever it gets pinned, I will be able to place a pill bug. The black ant pins, I place my pill bug. I'm surprised by the mosquito move, but what it does is it stops my pill bug advance. If my pill bug advances, not only is the queen free to move, but if the queen stays in place, the black mosquito now has pill bug power. I spawn a beetle, which I know is going to get up on top of the hive. And black spawns a beetle, I'm surprised that it spawns there. I was expecting it to spawn here. My beetle climbs up, as does the black beetle. I proceed to cover the black queen, which now makes it pill bug proof. And the black mosquito covers my white beetle. Both of us spawn our second beetles. And take a look at this point. My attack has to succeed. My pill bug has no chance whatsoever of getting in defensive position to defend my queen. If the game lasts long enough, I will not be able to win. My pill bug moves in, the black beetle advances toward my queen, and my white beetle attacks as well. Remember this point because I made a critical strategic error here that probably cost me the victory. We'll come back and review it a bit later. His first beetle covers my mosquito. And here's a good lesson in the use of ants. Ants in reserve are totally useless. I wanted to get an attacking bug into this kill spot. Here I should have brought in an ant almost anywhere. Would have had a angle of attack toward this kill spot. But I left my ant in reserve and instead brought in a grasshopper. And this was the move that I overlooked. The black pill bug spawns. Now, if the black pill bug advances, it's not truly a proximity pill bug by the absolute definition of proximity pill bug, but it is close enough that it can warp my pill bug away. I attack with a grasshopper, and it seems like I might have a devastating attack going. Five of the six kill spots already filled, but when the black pill bug moves forward, it's threatening to warp my pill bug away. I swing the ant around to a different kill space, and it might seem at first glance that my white pill bug is threatening to win by warping the pill bug in to take the kill shot. However, there is a beetle gate at the second level here, 
and my white pill bug cannot warp the black pill bug into the final kill spot. Nevertheless, John elects to self-pin the black pill bug, also because black is lacking in available spawn points, he doesn't have a lot of choice. I bring in a grasshopper threatening to win, and of course it immediately gets pinned. When the white ant spawns, a black spider spawns in this location, which sets a block, creating a gate, protecting the final kill spot. I climb up with a beetle, and his beetle covers me. This also was a strategic error. Notice that I gave up an occupied kill spot, and that beetle no longer has any chance whatsoever of refilling a kill spot. I gave up a valuable attacker. The white ant again swings around. The threat also was the black ladybug vacating a kill spot. The final black ant enters the game. And at this point, I am beginning to play defense, pinning the black ant. With no defending pill bug next to my queen and all three blacks ants mobile, I was forced to go on the defensive. Hence the reason why I pinned one of the black ants. John pins my queen. I pin a second black ant. This grasshopper spawns with a threat to fill a spot here, releasing the black ladybug. I bring in my last ant. The grasshopper jumps. I pin the black ant and the black ladybug attacks. I'm definitely winning the ant game with all three black ants pinned and all three white ants mobile, but I really don't have a lot of opportunities to win this game. White spider comes in and another excellent defensive block is placed. My spider performs a pin replacement freeing the white ant and the black beetle moves forward. So John is playing excellent defense. Both of these kill spots are protected by blocks with the gate here. This kill spot is a trigger point, which when occupied would free the black grasshopper. As the black beetle moves forward, I'm forced to form the ring and the black pill bug warps the white pill bug away. The only chance that I have involves the white pill bug being warped away. Happily, the white mosquito is nearby that in a few moves, if I have the tempo to do it, the white mosquito can warp in the white pill bug. Wanting to take away spawn points, I pin the black ladybug. The white beetle continues to advance. The white pill bug moves over, getting ready to get warped back in. As I warp the white pill bug in, the black spider moves away, so I can't warp it in. I warp in the grasshopper, and this move is an excellent move. Dual purpose move, which not only attacks my queen, but places a defensive block, preventing any of my ants to gain access to take the kill shot. This forces me to do something about this grasshopper, so I warp the mosquito away. The black pill bug warps in the black spider, and now the threat is the black grasshopper jumping, filling the penultimate kill spot, and the black beetle is in position to win the game. I'm forced to warp the black grasshopper away, even though the black grasshopper is in a kill spot. The black spider spawns, excellent example of pre-swamping. Notice with the black spider here, 
If either this spot or that spot are occupied, the black grasshopper is freed, can jump in, and the black beetle will take the kill shot. So I have almost no chance whatsoever of winning at this point. The threat is the black pill bug moving to here, freeing the black grasshopper, as we had just mentioned. I have to do something so that if the black pill bug moves in, I have a bug that could take the kill shot and win the game. Using the ant, I release the pin on the black ant over here, swing around to here, and create a fill, which frees that grasshopper. The black beetle moves forward. Interesting note here, once black has used all the bugs out of the reserve, I no longer have to be concerned about a direct drop into this spot. Black has no bugs in the reserve. I just waste a turn. This black ant move does two things. One is it opens up an angle of attack by this black spider to attack. If the black spider is allowed to attack, one of the black ants fills the penultimate kill spot and the black beetle will take the kill shot. So I'm forced to not allow the black spider to attack. With no bugs in the reserve. I don't have to worry about spawn points on the black ladybug, so that ant is free to pin the spider. The black ant reattacks. Notice by switching ants, the white grasshopper is now pinned. My ant swings around, creating a fill, releasing the white grasshopper, so again the black pill bug cannot move in to free the black grasshopper. The black beetle moves over to cover the ladybug, and I offer a draw. The game ends in a draw. Now let's take a look at what I could have done here. If I would have put a bug in this spot, particularly a grasshopper, placing the grasshopper here gives it an angle of attack on this kill spot. But more importantly, it stops the intrusion of the black pill bug. This was a strategic error that I made. Could very well have cost me the game. A very instructional game. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't say that I enjoyed it. It was just a draw. So it leaves both of us at only one half point out of two after two rounds. Thanks again for watching. As always, there'll be two videos here. The subscribe button is there, and if you want to support the ch channel financially, you can buy me a coffee down in the notes that go with this video. Thanks again. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.